Dan Harmon, Product Marketing Manager at Texas Instruments for Consumer and Computing Interface Products. Recently, I've been fielding a lot of questions on the new Apple and Intel external interface Thunderbolt. I'd like to provide an overview of this new technology. This diagram, courtesy of Intel, provides a good summary of how Thunderbolt is implemented in the host computer system. The existing DisplayPort and PCI Express signals are input into the Thunderbolt controller where they are aggregated. This combined signal is then transmitted to the peripheral device. The Thunderbolt specification mandates that all cables be active to support the 10 gigabit per second data rates. For an active copper-based cable, the limit is about 3 meters in length. However, using an optical cable enables distances in the tens of meters range. The peripheral system will then take the Thunderbolt signal and extract either the PCI Express or DisplayPort signals as required. There are a couple implications to this that I would like to highlight. First, the source of the DisplayPort and PCI Express are not changing, and therefore the performance remains identical for those interfaces. Second, all of the existing DisplayPort and PCI Express protocol driver support is maintained. This enables support for all existing products that utilize either technology for their communication with the host system. The Mini DisplayPort connector has been chosen for this interface to enable very sleek form factors for both the host and peripheral devices. The Thunderbolt specification also calls for up to 10 watts of power to be provided over the connection. Either the host or the peripheral can be the power source, with the other being the sink. With a single Thunderbolt cable, a great new use case where a monitor dock can be connected to a very sleek form factor host system such as a tablet or ultramobile notebook. This single, small form factor cable connection not only transfers data and video, but also can be used to charge the host battery. The specification has also defined a very flexible bus architecture that includes daisy chaining devices together. Finally, there has been a focus on minimizing latency and maintaining highly accurate time synchronization. Thunderbolt is a new 10 gigabit per second interface that utilizes existing protocols and technologies. It enables new form factors and ergonomics via a very small form factor interconnection. For more information, please go to ti.com/thunderbolt. Thank you for watching.